is able to fix my scar. And then the first one probably reason I'm there breaking all over again. There's a bounty in West Side. You ready to work? Oh yes. Hey, do you know anything about somebody called the judge? Yeah, I know about him. He's a fucking butcher and a petter ass. Some people don't believe he exists, but he's quite real. He's close to seven feet tall and stronger than any man alive. I saw him rip a man's jawbone out and bludgeon him to death with it. I don't like to admit it, but I worked with him on one job. It's the worst mistake I made in the course of my career. I'm no stranger to killing, but that maniac actually enjoyed it. We were supposed to acquire a man who had fled to the NCR, but things went wrong. I was watching the door when the judge went inside to haul the target out, since we were supposed to get him alive. Soon after, I hear the shotgun go off and a kid screaming bloody murder, so I run inside. There was blood everywhere. He had shot the man and then scalped him before I could blink. He was just standing there, grinning. He turned and grabbed the target's child, little red-headed boy. That's when I shot him. I shouldn't say any more. Are you ready to work or not? Dude, you can't just leave me hanging. What happened? I regret that I only wounded him. He never forgot either. When I saw him standing over that boy, knife in hand, I saw what I might have become. A fucking monster. At that point, I decided to start my own firm, even if it meant risking my neck. The judge had his own plans, of course. He started up Richter and Associates, where he's the primary shot caller. From what I hear, he might be moving to Vegas. If that's true, things are likely to get a lot bloodier here in the Mojave. Damn it, you got me distracted. Are you ready to work or not? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Before we delve into this bounty, I'm gonna give you a quick history lesson. Now, stop rolling your eyes, damn it. This relates to the job. I'll assume you're unfamiliar with the regulators. In the eastern US, Regulators are idealistic vigilantes, hell-bent on killing bad guys. However, in the core region, regulators are a very different breed. They're basically thugs who force businesses to pay protection money. They're authoritarian gangsters, really. This relates to your bounty because the target is a western regulator by the name of Dallas Courtright. Recently, Dallas drifted into West Side and appointed himself sheriff and de facto dictator. He's taxing commerce and breaking heads left and right. In light of this, a collection of concerned citizens has contracted us to convince Sheriff Courtright to leave by any means necessary. This is an unusual contract in that you don't have to kill or capture the target. Just convince him that leaving is in his best interests. If he's a stubborn ass and you have to let the lead do the talking, so be it. Just get him out of West Side. Good luck. All right, then. That was cool. I'm sure I'm on time. So this is an AC type of job. Rundle about to have a space on play as well, very soon. What can I do for you, citizen? Sheriff, get the fuck out of here. Well, uh, fuck them. If they want to live like fucking barbarians without law and order, to hell with them.
target spot. Stain no reads. A fucking mailman! Randall and Associates is finished. Your employer is dead. Javier will be with you shortly. Sincerely, the judge. You found a note. Good. Do you know why I am here? What happened to Randall? I buried him in the desert. Why are you here? I'm here to give you an offer. What do I stand to gain? You stand to gain everything. I'm not interested in the offer. You know what has to happen then? Who do you work for? You should have taken the offer. Aren't you going to beg? You don't have to do this. People always say the same thing. They say, you don't have to do this. You should admit your situation. There will be more dignity in it. Why do you do this? It's a living. Dying ain't much for living, boy. Okay. Goddamn lip dick shotgun willy. Which, okay, yeah, he's on the fucking fucking shotgun list, too. I'm dead! Mm -hmm. Dead or kidnapped. I haven't been forthright about recent developments in the business because I never wanted you to get mixed up in my bullshit, kid. Nonetheless, here we are. You're probably wondering who the fuck would kill me. And to be honest, I can only speculate. Whoever I'll offer you this. I can't fucking pronounce that word. From my untimely demise. Recently, Randall and Associates has been cut against the market share of Richter and Associates. A bounty hunting firm with a penchant for brutality. It is headed by a shadowy figure known simply as the Judge. I don't know about much about the man, but I'm willing to bet he's the person who had me knocked off. I assume you've dealt with his assassins, but you will listen to some sugar. I've blown off the initial advances by the Judge's crony, so it's only a matter of time before he uses force. I'm probably just being paranoid. Anyway, if you are reading this, I want you to know you're the best goddamn bounty hunter I've ever had the pleasure of working. Although I'll never tell you that as long as I'm alive. I want you to take all the caps, but there's something else. There's a 44 revolver in the safe that I call Sweet Revenge. It was manufactured a long time ago. Well, before the war, I swore I would never fire it until I found Marco, the man who butchered my family back east. You're all I've got left, kids, so take it. Better yet, take it and go kill the assholes and put me in the ground. Cormac, the judge's chief slave trader, is a liaison to the fiends. If you find Cormac, you'll find the way to the judge. Last I heard, he was shacked up with violence. There's one last thing. Swear to me, here and now, no matter what happens, you find Marco and kill him for me. And everyone else is taken from him. He's taken from him. I know the judge is going to be in your crosshairs, but that was strict business, and I came to accept there are such risks in long ago. Know this, when Marco dies a violent, painful death, my soul will be at rest. Until my until that day, I'll do my best to haunt your ass. It was a privilege to work with you, kid. Remember, justice is truth in action. Let that guide you in the coming days. Sincerely, Stephen Rand. Postscript. If you ever find him come across a marshal named Cooper, give him my regards. Alright then. Ba -na 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 -na. Wah, wah, wah. See, I've already killed Violet, so uh, Cormac's gonna be a uh, bit of a McGee. She's 
fix that. So you're gonna suck out at 20 feet. Then you yeet yourself one over. You go, how did you get that, Cormac? Go on in. The judge is expecting you. Okay. Head on through. Head on through. I've got my eye on you. Don't bother me. I'm on duty. The judge doesn't like to be kept waiting. I swear that's the overseer, or is it? Go on in. The judge is expecting you. I would your arrival is well timed. Your restraints noted. Most in your position would have swept into these chambers with little mind to dialogue. Who are you? Titles are ultimately a trivial matter. What I can do, however, is more important. Why'd you come around the fuck? Drop the control to 88888. It's only natural to eliminate the competition. And that takes on a literal quality in these times. Historical law always subverts moral law. Uh, for Adam, did I just shoot one with the fucking him to death? Okay, then. Let's go. Trial number two. Go on in. The judge is expecting you. Okay, okay. Thanks, mate. Keep moving. The judge is through that door right. You're... Who are you? Well, what can you do? I represent an organization of like-minded individuals. We're beginning to assert ourselves across the carcass of North America. In time, we'll be in a position to establish control on a regional level. You've proven yourself capable, and despite your obdurate nature, I'm willing to extend an offer to join the organization. This is your only chance. What's in it for me? Besides walking out of this bunker alive? If you enter our ranks, I can guarantee a signing bonus to the tune of 50,000 calves. Well, what's your decision? Okay, what's up? First, I'd like to commend you for making the safient choice. We'll seal this deal the old-fashioned way, with a handshake. Just come around the desk and greet me when you're ready. There. Speak to the judge. Look at this paint. Very nice, very nice. The judge doesn't like to be kept waiting. The judge doesn't like to be kept waiting. Now well, look, they did indeed give him the fight by thought ankle. Are you ready to make a commitment? Shake the judge's hand. Yes, I think you'll find the arrangement agreeable. Welcome aboard. After a polite handshake, Judge Richter explains that you should make contact with his chief of contract killing, Bobby Bams. Yilson mentions a signing bonus is actually part of an incentive program that will require decades of service. So you shouldn't expect any grandsons until you've proven yourself to the organization. That lying 
motherfucker. But, um, well, we'll do New Vegas Killer and then we're going to go see if they actually did give you the option to go back and scoff fuck the judge. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.